this is how we jive mass communication in this video I'm going to show you how you can assemble your SSD card to your desktop computer after that install a new window that is Windows 10 or could be any version of window I have one SSD card you can see here I'm going to assemble on my desktop okay as you can see I have my desktop machine here what I have to do you have to take out all the cable everything out okay I have here two knobs but first I will put this on the floor as you can see so the machine is on the floor here I will take out these two screws one is gone another as well I'll take out this cover as you see normally this cover they should connect with some cooler okay I will lose the cooler cable let me do how I can do that easily yeah this one okay it's done this one from here one from here is done I disconnect all these this I put one place where we have motherboard okay this is motherboard this side we don't need to do anything here I have the hard drive okay I have my toolkit here as you can see my screwdriver and other things because we're gonna need some screw okay what I will do, I will try to assemble this one, this SSD here. I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Here we go. As you see, this is screwdriver. This is Philips forehead screwdriver. And this one. First of all, I'm gonna assemble this one. This is very light, so you don't need so many screw. Only two is enough. The port should be this side. So I'll put here. and find the head where I can assemble. Finally, I find here two place easily. I can put, assemble here my hard drive. You have to check what is the best position. Okay, what I have to do, I have to take out the SATA port from this old hard drive and this I have to put in my new drive. Here we go. Can you see that? Same place. That means we are replacing. That is done. And the power cord also. Here we go. Don't forget the power cord because without this it's not going to work. So I take out the power cord, put back, okay, you have a L shape, you see, you have to match the shape, okay, it's done, I connect properly, so I'm good to go, and you don't need to do nothing else, so that means you are replacing your old hard drive to SSD, if you want, have both of them, you have to have more, one more as this cable, start a cable and you have to connect as you see this is connected one so you have to need one more you can put in this so you can have two hard drive at the same place i don't want the old one i want only this one and the cd drive is connected so i have the main drive the ssd drive and cd drive now i'll go to computer and i'll install this one now few more important steps i have windows 10 in this usb if you don't have you can check my video how can prepare this drive and how you can have windows 10 in this and i have so many other video too so before all i insert this usb into my computer to see where is the teeth so it should go as this it's fine i'm gonna hit the power button 
and let me see here i'm hitting f8 you see i'm hitting continuously wow it's good you can do two way you can go to bars you can put your usb driver as a principal boot or you can come to this option you can boot from your usb drive very easy the third one you see kingston data traveler which usb drive you have you have to know that one so with the arrow key i go to down this one and i'm gonna hit enter okay hit enter and wait till it boots from this drive this is one way i will show you another way too in one second okay this is set up let me show you by bias option i'm gonna hit the restart button here and in this case i will hit dell button to go inside the bias let me go i hit dell button okay here we go here in the bias I have to go advanced mode of the bias okay I have to go boot option this is hard drive option I hit this one I have two number one is SATA and I have Kingston driver I want Kingston as a principal drive I hit this one I hit back button here and as you see this should be data kingston so kingston my usb driver is the first boot option so what i have to do now i have to hit f10 button here we go and as you see you want to save the configuration and restart the machine i hit yes and it will boot directly with my usb so i have to wait till that is booting from usb here we go the installation menu so in this case i leave english united states keyboard and all as it is i hit next button i hit install now let's see okay i accept the term and condition of window, I hit next button. Now, don't go to the first option. You have to go to the second one, custom window installer, advanced mode, hit this one. I have two driver here in this one. If you don't see any driver, hit next button. In this disk, I have some properties. I have some window, I want to delete that. I delete this driver, I hit okay. I delete another one too. Before doing that, if you have some data, make a backup, I hit this one. Okay, so this is done. I have space 112 gigabyte in SSD. I hit next, a new option. I hit apply. Windows is asking me to some permission to give that to so they can have 500 megabytes of drive for system purpose and other space will be for you. I hit OK button. You see 500 for system reserve and other for you. Hit next button. When all the things will finish, I'll be back. Now, one important note, the machine restarted and it's bringing me to this menu again. In this, you have to do something. You have to take out the USB drive. So in this case, you have to take out the USB drive softly, gently, not gonna need this drive anymore. Here we go is done the drive you have to hit escape key and hit yes for installation all the file window is already copied inside so we don't need more usb drive let's see 
Okay, as you see, device is getting ready, 60% getting ready. It will not take a while because this is SSD, should be faster. The machine restarted and come back again to this skin just a minute. We are waiting. We have to put name for the machine. Okay, now we are come to some setup. I leave as United States. I hit yes. Okay, keyboard United States. Yes. I hit skip in this process. Just a moment. I have to put a name, for example, name of my client, Fede. Fede. Okay, I hit next button in this. I don't want a password, but they not give me any option. Otherwise, I hit next button. So I hit next button without password. I hit no, I don't want to update from nowhere i accept assistant let's see just a moment okay windows is ready everything is ready i'm here in windows so guys this is how you can assemble ssd to your computer and install Windows 10 or Windows 8, whatever version you want in your computer. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this segment, please give me a thumbs up. As always, for more information, go to the Ask Communication, www.askcommunication.com. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Till then, bye-bye.